What's up, Leo? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. So we got loneliness here, okay? So I feel like, Leo, you may be lonely at this time. You may really want somebody you can trust, really want somebody you can depend on. You tired of being single. This give me, because lonely, that give me, like, single energy, okay? Um, I feel like take your time. Don't rush into nothing yet. Even though you're lonely, don't just fall for anything or just accept anything because you're tired of being lonely, okay? Don't do that. Okay, and I feel like even though you've been hurt, even though you've been hurt, and even though you've been disappointed, you still have the ability to love because that's what a lot of people mess up at. A lot of people mess up self-sabotaging the right person behind the wrong, the wrong person bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, yeah, still have empathy, still open up, still trust, you know, don't let your past affect your future. Okay, just period. So it, it takes a, it's a special kind of person. It's a, it takes a strong person to be hurt so many times and still have the ability to be able to give love and be willing to receive it. Okay, so that's what's up here. Yeah, cause you was really grieving over. Yeah, I feel like I want. I think I want to see grief. Yeah, you was really grieving over something here. Okay, but yeah, you're always in service to help others. Like you always still willing to help others, even though you've been disappointed. You still always being of service to other people, even though nobody's never there for you. Okay, so keep being you. Keep doing you. Okay, doing um, you know, being a good person, having a good heart. Period. Okay, duh. Okay, so there's been an end to a situation here. Some guys could be, could be dealing with the Scorpio. That's like the death card. So there's been a death to a situation here. I am learning that endings are merely beginning. So there's been an ending with you and somebody here. Okay, or there's been a change in a situation. Because the death, it can represent also a change. It could represent transformation. It could represent, you know, an ending to a new beginning. Because understand that after every ending, it's a new beginning. Even when we leave this life, when we leave this world, when we leave the 3D, we still transfer over. We transition until the 5D, okay? So life is not over. There's still eternity somewhere else, okay? So, yeah, so I feel like there has been an ending to a situation. I feel like something has really changed you or something has ended here, okay? So we got failure. Yeah, something ended, something did not work out or something failed here. Something did not work out. Yeah, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So I feel like even though something failed, whether that's a relationship, whether that's a business, it don't matter what it is, whether that's a friendship, whatever this is that failed or that ended, I feel like you're learning from that. You, you know what I'm saying? It's just the opportunity for, for you to learn from your mistake. You know what I'm saying? If you was moving a certain way or you was dealing with somebody that was a certain, had a certain character trait or they was moving snake, they was moving funny. I feel like the only thing you did was learn from that. That's all you did. You learned from that situation and it made you a better you. It made you be more discerning. You know what I'm saying? Make better judgment of people. Be able to see things for what it is. To see things in the spirit and not see things in the flesh. Okay, so you know how to avoid hurt, pain, and trauma. So you don't have to go through these lessons over again here. Okay, sometimes we really love somebody. We want that shit to work. And sometimes we have to look in the mirror and just reflect and really accept that shit for what it is. Like, man, this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Because there is nothing more. I'm going to tell you something. There is nothing more lonely or there's nothing more sad to be in a marriage, to be in a relationship, whichever whichever one it is for you, and still feel like you you by yourself, still feel like you single single. Cause you can be with somebody and still and still feel single, still feel empty, still feel unfulfilled, and still feel a void. Okay? So, you know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody is unwilling to change with the with, with the death card. That could be like, you know, change. Maybe somebody's unwilling to change with the failure right behind that. Maybe it's somebody who's willing to change. You keep hoping they get it together. You keep hoping they change. And somebody's just not willing to change here. They're just not willing to change. And it's like, no matter how much you keep, you keep giving this person time or believing in this person, they keep failing you time and time again. They keep disappointing you time and time again. I feel like the signs is always there. The signs is always there. But a lot of times what we tend to do is we tend to think that we can fix a person. We tend to think that we can just give them time. People change for who they want to change for. People be to be the people who they want to be be what and what and who for that's just the truth of the matter is you have to understand that 
that woman gonna be that wifey type of woman for the man she want to be it for that man is going to be that provider that lover that protector to that woman he's going to be it for don't let no man tell you he ain't got yo he can't do this for you or he broke he ain't got this because the woman that he really want he gonna out of out of the blue get it get it out of nowhere for her you see what i'm saying so somebody keep failing you and it could be because you're not requiring change of this person that's where boundaries come in place you got to know how to set boundaries with people so they take you serious and, and know that you're not a game and you ain't a joke. Don't let nobody talk to you any type of way. Talk to you any type of way, talking to you like you ain't nothing to nobody, okay? But yet you keep being there for them. And all they keep doing is failing you, disappointing you over and over again. Yeah, yeah, there's being balance brought into a situation. Spirit is ending something out of your life. It's a new beginning and starting for you. Something that you felt like you kept it, it kept failing it's because spirit is bringing balance into a situation spirit is bringing balance into your life this is a justice that's like this is a justice you could be dealing with the libra understand that the scales have to be balanced it's an equal give and take to everything in life when that's a business it has to be a balance when you're in a business deal with somebody okay when you go into business business with somebody it's something that each party is gaining from the situation. It's never one-sided. It's not supposed to be one-sided. And if it's a one-sided contract, it's not going to last long. It's going to end up being problems and conflict because somebody's going to be dissatisfied with the contract. If it's a marriage, it has to be. It has to. It has to be. It has to be balanced. It has to go both ways. It can't be one-sided. If it's a friend, you always be enough for. It can't be one-sided. Yeah, be thankful, okay? And I feel like no matter the lessons you learn in life and no matter what you go through, you able to show gratitude. You still thankful. Even though things may have failed in your life, you still thankful, okay? I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Yeah. What's going on here? Yeah, judgment, okay? So I feel like somebody so oh dang. So judgment, that's like Scorpio energy. Okay. <clears throat> So we got, I feel like we got Libra here. Okay, so I feel like uh, something that ended, somebody want to bring back to life. This could be like bringing something back from the dead with the judgment and the death. Somebody wants to bring something back to life that ended. Okay, they want to they wanna bring something back. Something that could have failed. Yeah, because somebody is still having, still determined your yeah, perseverance i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to yeah somebody is determined that something can be successful even though this has failed so many times somebody is determined that you know what perseverance it, it can still work so there is balance being bought to something here yeah love wow this is no okay okay oh okay so what i'm seeing Leo, if there is somebody that you really cared about and you really loved and this person just couldn't get their shit together for the, for, for, for the sake, for life's sake, they just couldn't get it together and you kept sticking by this person's side, you just kept being there, I'm getting something that's going to balance out. I feel like the divine is stepping into a situation. There, I feel like spirit is going to balance something out between you and this person, something that ended or something Something is changing. Somebody is changing or <clears throat> something that ended is being brought back to life by the higher ups, by the divine. Something that once failed, it still have the possibility to thrive with perseverance here. As long as two people are willing to still put in the work. Yeah, there is a balance when it comes to your love life. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, somebody could want to say something to you. Somebody can have a hard time clearing out their... You know, clearing out their heart, their um throat chakra, saying what they want to say to you. Somebody want to say something, they don't know how to say it. Okay, this is somebody who had to practice discipline. Okay, or you had to practice discipline here. You had to learn how to have discipline and set boundaries with this person. This is somebody who also who who could have struggled with being disciplined here. They could have been very lustful. Okay, yeah, somebody got a lot of regret because they feel like you was part of their purpose. With purpose here, somebody feel like you was part of their destiny, part of their purpose, and they got a lot of regrets, okay? I feel like you gave somebody purpose in their life. You you made somebody feel important, special, or needed, okay? You gave somebody purpose. Somebody got a lot of regrets here. That's like the five of cups. 
Okay, love here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy with the love with the love here. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We got like the five of cups. That's regret. This is like the five of cups here. And then we got purpose. That's like the will of fortune. Okay. I feel like somebody's manifesting. I'm also getting there's a friend of yours that wants to that, that wants to manifest you, that wants you back in their life, that you showed a lot of love to. I'm also getting somebody that put you friends on you or put you in some sort of third party or thought you were just a good time. They want to balance something out with you here. Okay. So somebody is coming in here. Okay, yeah, I can't make it up. Ace of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy here. Okay. There's somebody who wants to bring something back to life they ended. Somebody wants to reconcile a love with you. Somebody wants your forgiveness with the judgment of Ace of Cups. It's like somebody who wants to who wants your forgiveness. Somebody wants to renew a love or reconcile a love with you here. Okay. Yep, this is somebody that betrayed you. Okay. So somebody that betrayed you here. This is somebody that betrayed you, and I feel like you got betrayed, and now you're guarded with the seven of with the seven of wands. Somebody knows that you're guarded. You have your boundaries up. You have your guard up. Somebody knows that you're closed off. Okay, they know that. And yeah, it's somebody that did you wrong here. Yeah, this person kept failing you. You wanted this person to just step into their into their power. Somebody is meant to be an emperor, or the emperor could also be the empress. But somebody is meant to be divine they're a divine counterpart they're meant to be divine they're meant to they're meant to be an emperor they're not meant to be in this foolish energy here i feel like all you wanted somebody to do was be responsible take charge be responsible you know what i'm saying um carry authority stand in their power you know just be there somebody kept failing you here yeah but i feel like you kept holding on you kept holding on to somebody because you felt like this was wish fulfillment or it could be something fulfilling for you Okay, it's like you saw the best in the person. You saw the potential. You see that. Okay, I know. I know you can satisfy me. I know you can be. You can be somebody. But somebody kept feeling. This could be somebody who had low self esteem. They could have felt like a failure. That this is somebody who could feel like a failure. They feel like, well, people don't believe in them or something like that. So they had to. They had to get themselves right on the inside. Wow, I can't make it up. You got the emperor and the empress side by side. You feel like you're, yeah, this is your divine counterpart. You feel like your divine counterpart fa um, failed you. Yeah, there, yeah, with the, yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody had to mature emotionally. Somebody also had to mature, you know, in other areas of their life. This could be someone who could have been very childish, you know, very um immature. They had to grow up. Also with the ace of cups and the emperor, somebody wants to provide you emotional security and stability now oh excuse me y'all yeah so i feel like something's going to be successful here when it comes to love yeah cycle is being closed i feel like something's going to be successful here yeah i feel like somebody wants to put in the work here okay so discipline here I feel like also you just showing gratitude to the things you already have in life. I feel like you focus on you mastering your craft, mastering yourself. You focus on your money. I feel like you're thankful for the things that you have in life. And I feel like because you're being disciplined with your finances, because you're being disciplined with your money, I feel like spirit is going to grant you more money or you're going to level up in your life financially. You already showing up as the empress. I can't make it up. I told you six of pentacles here. Yeah, somebody want to heal a situation with you. Somebody could want to gift you with something. They want to give you something because they want to they want to heal things with you. So somebody can have a gift or they want to offer to take you out to dinner, but they in regret for breadcrumbing you or stringing you along. Okay, that's what somebody was doing here. Yeah, they was pigeon feeding you. Okay, now somebody want to promise, they want to make some sort of promise to you that they do want a relationship or that they can be the man or woman you need them to be here. Okay, somebody like the page of pentacles, that's a, that's a promise. Okay, that's something you can see, taste, touch, see, taste, touch, and feel. Somebody's going to give you something promising to show you, hey, we're going to have this for one, this relationship. Okay. Yeah, there could be, yeah, it could be with this, yeah, it could be with, with a king of cups here. Okay. This is somebody who had to grow up. The king of cups had to grow up to the emperor here. It could be, okay, it could have been a Scorpio that had to grow up to the emperor here. Aries energy here. Aquarius energy. Okay. Somebody had to grow up. We got um, Taurus. You could have Taurus, Libra, Virgo in your chart. Okay. See, when you heal, I feel like you heal. When you heal and begin to put you first. 
I feel like you help heal this person. Or you help this person see something flawed within themselves. Okay, by, by, by you just, you know, or maybe your unfailing love for a person, you never giving up, giving up on them, begin to make somebody really reflect. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We, have, we got angel um, therapy here. We got our angel Raphael. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burden. See, I told, I told you that. I feel like this is somebody who had you. This is somebody who had you burdened and they had you weighed down, stressing over the situation here. But I feel like the angels are going to give you clarity here with that crystal ball up there. Yeah, it's like you're gaining clarity over a situation though. Okay. And we got nurture here. Yeah, somebody could have had some sort of mother somebody could have had some sort of mother childhood issues or childhood trauma with nurture this person never really been nurtured the way you nurture i feel like you help nurture this person back to life or you have yes you see that baby you see all these mothers around and they nurturing they nurturing that yes yeah, how they nurturing that child it's like they nurturing that child somebody loves the way you nurture them as you nurture nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important right now yeah it's like somebody needed some sort of nurture and i feel like with the, that's that queen of pentacles energy you're very somebody finds you to be very nurturing very loving they like that about you here yeah and then we got clear nonsense we got archangel urel pay attention to your thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answer prayers here okay so pay attention to your thoughts and your ideas because they're these thoughts and ideas are answer answer prayers that are coming to you and we got career transition okay archangel shamiel your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change so your life purpose is triggering some sort of career change so whatever you guys are doing now you're not going to be doing what you're doing now you got you're not going to be doing that it's like yeah you're going to have some sort of career transition here you're going to transition doing something else your career is yeah passion it's going to be something that you're very passionate about you're going to have some sort of brilliant idea there's going to be some sort of brilliant idea that you come up with and you're going to have a lot of passion for it and it's going to take off here and it's got yes your idea is divinely guided please take action to bring your idea to fruition um for um into, into fruition here so with Pay attention to see your thoughts and ideas. You're going to get some sort of bright idea, okay? And you're going to take the idea and you're going to put it in action here. It's something you're going to be very passionate about and it's going to bring you some sort of career change, okay? And we got trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and your career, okay? Yeah, I feel like you give somebody hope. You really inspire somebody here. That's what I have for you. Don't get like, come to shop by y'all.